Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Let's go to God in prayers. Open your mouth and appreciate God this morning. And say, O oh Lord, I have come before you. Teach me, Lord. Teach me the strategies. Give me the understanding. Help me, Lord, to conquer. Because there are things you must overcome. There are things you must overcome if you must go to heaven. Lord, we worship you. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Sing it one more time. Yes, Lord. Your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Take it once more time. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. We, you are a miracle walking God. Your name is Yah. Our Father, we welcome you in our midst this morning. Divine, we appreciate you because you have come to teach us wonderful things this morning. We appreciate you, Lord. We worship your name, Father. We pray that, Lord, at the end of this trip, this teaching this morning, we shall have every cause to glorify your name in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For you we speak to us practical things this morning. Oh, Lord, we are ready. Oh, Lord, we are ready. Oh, Lord, we are ready. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. Strategies for personal spiritual development is the topic before us this morning. Strategies. How a child of God will put in place some principles some things that will help you develop yourself. Why must you have to develop yourself? Because the journey is far. Hello. The angel told the man of God. Stand up the second time and eat well. Because the journey is great. Brethren, we have had it many times. That Satan says he is coming at himself this time. But I always tell him, Satan, you are late. It is this time you are coming. My God has been with me from the beginning. Because he says, Behold, I am with you. Always. Even up to the end of the world. Yes. It is Satan that is making noise. And he's saying he's coming now. He's even coming late. Hallelujah. But then you have to develop yourself. You have to equip yourself. You have to be ready. When you see a soldier man going out to battle, he armed himself. He prepared himself so that he will be able to withstand. The Lord will prepare us this morning so that we'll be able to withstand this Satan that is bragging that he is coming at himself. The Lord will put him to flight. The power of God will destroy him. But brethren, beware that at any time you want to arm yourself, put strategies in place.
to grow thereby, to stand. There are always two forces that will resist it. One, the flesh will resist it. Hello? I said the flesh will what? Resist it. Secondly, Satan will resist it. But before the devil comes, the first person that will resist it is your body. Oh Lord, I want to fast every Wednesday. I want to wake up every four o'clock and pray. I want to make sure I pray one hour every day before I come out. The first person that will attack it is your flesh. The flesh will say, give me sleep. This is your heaven, I am not even going there. My own in here, please give me my own today. Like the prodigal son, give me my own now. The flesh is the first, the, the number one enemy. But by the mercy of God, the teaching of today will help us how to conquer the flesh. How to bring the flesh under subjection. The Lord will do it. I said the Lord will do it. I said whenever you set up strategies for yourself, how to conquer. Maybe you said, oh Lord, every first weekend of the month, I will pray and fast. Just as the ministry told us that every third weekend of the month is prayer and fasting. Am I right? The flesh will resist it. Satan will come up and say, how long? You say every Wednesday you'll be praying and fasting? Remember you say how many years to live? You mean throughout these 70 years, 80 years that are ahead of you, you'll be fasting every Wednesday? Ah, this thing you said, every month my salary I dedicate 5,000 to maybe buying CDs and be spreading. Satan will come up and ask you a question. What do you mean? Do you know how many years you still have in government? You mean every month you'll be removing 5,000 5, from there? No, it's too much. Satan will ask you so many questions. He came to me one day and I asked him back. Hallelujah. How long will you be doing this? I said, Satan, I have been eating food from the day they give birth to me. You didn't ask me how long will I be eating food? You didn't ask me how long will I be drinking water? You didn't ask me how long will I be, be doing one thing? There are no more things you are doing every day. Has Satan ever, ever challenged you? It is when you set up strategies for yourself to go to heaven that he will appear. Because that is against him. He will ask you series of questions. Throw it back to him. How long will you be praying? Satan, how long will I be eating? How long will you be fasting? Satan, how long will I be drinking water? How long will you be giving money? Satan, I have been buying Richard card every day. You have no challenges. You have no challenges. Is it this one you want to challenge? The devil is behind that thought. No how to overcome it. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So brethren, we say Satan will attack it. Satan will attack it. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Give a clap now offering to Jesus last. Hallelujah. 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 We have been told that the Lord is preparing soldiers for this great work. Hallelujah. This great work, the Lord is recruiting amen. Recruiting people into this great work. I pray one day I say, God, make me profitable in this work. Oh Lord, I don't, I, 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 I want to be useful in this work. The law will use you. The law will use me. But the issue is this. Are you prepared? Because there are conditions. The Bible says, if a man purchases himself, let's go to Timothy first, second Timothy chapter two. You have to purchase yourself, brethren. You have to get ready for the work. In fact, the Lord is moving around. Jesus said the field is wide, but the laborers are few. Are there no Christians? There are. But they didn't pay the price. They are not ready to push themselves. They are not ready to sacrifice things. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I said 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2. Verse number 20. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver. 
but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor, and some to dishonor. If a man therefore, hmm, this is where the problem comes. If a man therefore did what? Touch himself. From this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and made for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. If a man therefore the will to put yourself is in your hand. Yes. The responsibility to put yourself is in your hand. If a man therefore purchase himself, clean up himself, prepare himself, get ready for this great work, the Lord will use him as a vessel unto honor. May you put yourself this morning. May we be ready this morning. And the Lord will do it in Jesus' name. We want to consider some topics. Maybe we have up to 10 points or so to look into. And I pray that the Lord will help us. We have enough time for that. Hallelujah. Number one, study the word of God. Study the word. Equip yourself with the word of God. When Satan came to Jesus, he said it is written. It is what? It is written. Because he had the word. Himself is the word anyway. He said it is written. The devil came the second time. He said it is written. He came the third time. He said it is what? Written. How will you know it is written when you don't read? When you don't study the word? When you don't have time for the word? How will you know it is written? How will you be able to cut Bible? Cut scripture? How will you be able to stand against the wall of Satan? When you don't know the word, the Lord will give us grace to study God's word. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 15. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 15. Verse 15. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Have time for meditation. Do you know that preachers got more messages from God at the hours of meditation? When you keep yourself, bring yourself out of the multitude, find time to sit down and meditate on the word of God, you will be hearing, you will be receiving revelation from heaven. You will be receiving instruction. In fact, the Lord will be telling you what to do. Sometimes you have it as a leader, as a pastor, you have a case so tough. You are thinking, how will I handle this? Go on meditation. Create time to read the word. Create time to meditate on the word. Before you know, an answer will come into your heart. Boom! You say, hey, God, you are great. God, you are great. Because you have time for meditation. This Christianity of today that is so noisy everywhere, wherever you see people talking, you must be there. You must be there. No, create time for yourself. In fact, I study by the grace of God. Anytime I am traveling, I always tell myself, I am leaving home around 7 in the morning. Maybe to my destination around 5 or 6 in the evening. What will I be doing inside the post? People will be talking. Hey, body is good. Hey, body is bad. Hey, governor is this. Hey, they don't pay salary. You are busy in that discussion. Why can't you read your Bible? Sometime before I arrived at my destination, I have read more than 10 chapters. You have enough time inside the vehicle. Are you the one driving? You have enough time to read. In fact, sometime before I arrived at my destination, I finished my prayer program of the day. You can pray up to an hour, two hours inside the bus where people are busy doing other things. Create time for prayers. Create time for the word of God. Study the word. Read. Read. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible said, This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. But thou shalt what? Thou shalt what? Thou shalt what? 
are you doing it? You know, it's very easy to read. It's very easy to read, you know, to say it has, you know, the Lord told, the Lord told Joshua to read, meditate on it every day. But are you doing it? Do you put it as one of your activities? The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Read the word of God every day. Study the word. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 7, 17. The Bible said the word is a soul. If you don't have it, how will you be able to stand in this evil generation? This wicked generation. This diabolical generation. This time that people are bragging everywhere. Evil people. I went to a community one, sometimes one day. And I was, as I was preaching to a man. The man told me. He said, I am the chief witch of this place. All the witches in this place are under me. And you are preaching to me. You are preaching to the Ogakwatakwata over the witches of this community. And he now told me, he threatened me. He said, before the sun sets, an evil will befall you. A lie. I told him it's not possible. Praise the name of the Lord. I told him it is no what? Possible. The man is no longer alive now. I'm still preaching. I'm still preaching. Brethren, the world, the, our, the generation is wicked. Evil, darkness fill everywhere. Equip yourself with the word of God. Have time for the word. Read your Bible every day. Read your Bible. Praise every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, if you want to. Do you want to grow? The secret is read your Bible. You are too kind of, too busy for yourself. Too busy for yourself. That is the problem. The nature of your work has taken you far from scripture. Do something about it. In fact, if it becomes necessary, drop that job. Any job that takes you far from scripture is either you develop principle how to cope with it, or you quit that job. It's for your, it's again, in fact, that soul, that job is fighting against your soul. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Second point, constant prayers and fasting. Constant prayer, pray always pray always first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 constant prayers pray in every situation in every circumstances create time to pray chapter 5 verse 17 verse 17 said pray without Breathing the Bible said, pray without. Hmm. Let's pause a little. Do you know that it's possible for you to fulfill this scripture perfectly? Praying at all times. I developed for myself a strategy. I said, I can turn every activities of mine. Everything I am doing, I'm doing, I can convert it to prayers. Do you know it's possible? A Lord, do you know it's possible? A woman that wake up from the morning, from sleep, and as you are busy sweeping, say, Oh Lord, as I am sweeping all these days, cleaning this place, Holy Spirit, mop my life. Sweep my life. Any dirty thing in me, Lord, sweep it. Are you in the bedroom? Maybe you, are, you want to take your bed? It's a good opportunity. In fact, you can, oh, you can convert it to prayer. Lord, as the water goes all over my body, hallelujah. Let the blood of Jesus go all over my body. Let the blood of Jesus go over my body. Is that the wonderful prayers? Are you a farmer? You are in the farm? Removing the weeds. Removing the gra the unwanted grasses. Oh, wonderful movement of prayers. Oh, Lord Jesus, as my hand is removing the weeds, 
as my hand is removing the unwanted grasses, every unwanted attitude in me, take it off. Every unwanted behavior in me, take it out. Every thought of evil in me, take it out. Hallelujah. Do you know you can do that? As you are traveling, oh Lord, as I am making progress towards my destination, Holy Spirit, help my soul to be getting closer to the Father. Help my life. Help me. Let me be getting closer to God every day. Is that not your wonderful prayers? Many of them, many of them, convert them to prayers. Convert them to prayers. Woman, oh, when you are cooking, it's a wonderful time. Wonderful time. Be asking the Holy Spirit, anyone that eat my food, miracle. Anyone that eat my food, miracle. Lord Jesus, whoever tested this soup, oh, the power of the Holy Ghost will arrest him. The power of the Holy Ghost will arrest her. Pray without season. Pray without season. The Lord will teach us how to pray. I said the Lord will teach us how to pray. Daniel pray how many times a day? Three times. Three times. I knew how much Daniel would have been battling with flesh and Satan. Satan will say, Daniel, you want to pray three times every day? Can't you get tired? But Daniel drink water more than three times a day. Satan didn't complain. Did he, did he complain? It is when you come to prayers, he will complain. He will ask you, is it not too much? Is it not, you have been eating food. Have you, have you ever asked him whether the food is too much? The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So we go to the third point. Purpose of heart for righteousness and holiness. Daniel chapter 1. Verse 8. The Bible says, And Daniel purposed in his heart. Hmm. Hallelujah. Maybe you are in this program. You have made up your mind. Say, Oh Lord, I will not go back to my sin any longer. Maybe it's even in this program you get born again. All this while we're thinking you are a leader, you are a member. In fact, maybe it is in this program you got Jesus real. And you have made up your mind. All oh, the secret thing, I will not do it again. Brethren, the devil is there. As soon as you come out of this place, he will bring that person again. That your friend will come again. Bro, let's go and drink. And uh, please, that your girlfriend will call again. But it will take, look, it is not, it's not only by prayer this time. You have to make up your mind. You have to carry a purposeful heart. I have made up my mind that no brukutu will come this month. I have made up my mind that no man will see my body as a woman. It takes a purposeful heart. You have to make up your heart. You make up your make, make up your mind. Be, make up, in fact, purpose in your heart not to do it. As for temptation, it will come. You can't stop it. Hello? As for temptation, it will what? Come. But it is when you make up your mind. Job says, I made covenant with my eyes. Hmm. The battle is as serious as that. Make covenant with the oil, every part of your body. This hand, I tell you in the name of Jesus, you must not slap anybody throughout my life. Whenever the opportunity, I mean Satan, because Satan will always create the opportunity for you to do it. Remember, reflect back to your, come back to your covenant, come back to your, to, to the promise you have given yourself. I have made up my mind, I will not do this. The temptations will come, but the Lord will help us. The Lord will give us grace to conquer in Jesus' name. We say you must make up your mind. As for the flesh, flesh is radio. Is flesh not ready? It is ever ready. I told you earlier on that the flesh is not even going to heaven. Will it go to heaven? Therefore it will tell you, my own give me now. It's you that will enjoy eternity. Give me my own now. You have to resist him. You have to stand. You have to resist. You have to purpose your heart. Me, me, have a purposeful heart. Tell yourself I will not do it. And the Lord will help us in Jesus name. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I said the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. 
Run away. Run away from evil. Don't assume you are strong enough. Somebody will say, do you know me? You don't, brother, you are saying, you say I should be careful with women. Do you know how much grace is in me? That grace, I don't know whether it's higher than that in Joseph's life. But Joseph ran away. Run away. I'm telling you, run away. Do what? Run away. Run away when it comes to sin. Don't stand. The Lord will give us grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say number one, study the word of God. Number two, prayers and fasting. Prayer and fasting. All the West pray. All the West fasting. Depend on God. It's not by your power. Somebody may say, eh, you know, I have, you know, this prayer I've prayed and, uh, you know, I have prayed. It's okay. Even Jesus himself prayed and prayed and prayed and the Bible says sweat that was coming out of his body was like what? Blood. Your master, your king, my lord, the God in the flesh, pray when he was in the flesh. He resists Satan. Pray, my brother. Pray, my brother. We say purposeful hearts. The next thing is leaning under a spiritual mentor. Very important. Very important. To have a mentor over your life. Hmm. Let's read a portion of scripture. Let's read Exodus 23. Exodus 23. Verse number 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause. To decline after many to rest judgment. Thou shalt not follow multitude. Thou shalt, let me put it this way. Thou shalt not have too many people as a mentor. Otherwise, you will be confused. Hello? Elijah, who mentor Elisha? How many mentor does he have? One. Moses brought up Joshua. And many of them in the scripture. By the time you have two many mentor over your life, the man that said God called him to preach preach only prosperity is one of your mentors. The one that the law has called to preach holiness and righteousness is another mentor. Which one will you copy from? That is why you are confused. Because you have too many people that mentor you. Who will you be like? Who will you be like? Even among the holiness ministers. I am not saying you should not listen to their messages. The Holy One. But have a mentor over your life. The man that didn't believe in the power of God to carry somebody to hell and have, and, and, and heaven and return him to earth is one of your mentors. The one that says it is possible God can do a thing like that is another mentor. The one that said God has called me to face only healing a miracle is another mentor. You will be a confused child. You will be a confused child. That is why your Christian life will be shambled. You won't know direction in life. Please. Are you aware that some of the disciples of, Je of John they come to Jesus? Are you aware of that? 
and they remain focused under Jesus. Not as if John is, but no. He's another man of God. But if you have too many mentors, how many apostles do you want Peter to be? Apostle of Jesus and apostle of John? Have a mentor over your life. Have a mentor over. The Lord has shown you grace, shown me grace. And we have someone that knew the world. Do you know that one of the greatest gifts we have in holiness revival moment is that we have a teacher of the world. I'm telling you, clap hands to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have a teacher of the world. When people are making us, the Jesus has departed from there. Jesus, I said the world is still there. So long as the world is there, after all, Jesus is the world. If you follow after revelation alone, revelation will finish one day. What will be the next thing? Anyone that is just running after revelation and kept the word, you know, in fact, it is this one that saw Jesus. It is this one that was taken to heaven. You will miss it. Appreciate this gift we have in this movement. A teacher of the world. The Lord will help us to be careful in this area of having mental so that you don't become a confused child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Another thing that's the fifth thing now. Fellowship among righteous people. Fellowship among which people? Righteous people. People that are holy. People that love God. People that love righteousness. Fellowship. Do you know that sin is contagious? Are you aware of that? Let your friends be fornicators. Before you know, you are gone. Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah. Chapter 6, verse 5. Isaiah said, Then said I, Woe is me, for I am what? For I am undone, because, here is the reason, I am a man of unclean leaves, and I dwell in the midst of people of what? Unclean leaves. That is where Isaiah's problem lies. Isaiah said, Lord, I, I have, my mouth is unclean. The reason is because I dwell in the midst of people of unclean leaves. Check the people around you. Check your, your companion, the people you go out with. Check your society. Check the church. Some of us, the church where we are. Well, the Lord may allow us there to be a missionary. Otherwise, it may not worth it. Isaiah said, Lord, my mouth is unclean. The reasons why my mouth is unclean is because I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lives. Therefore, they influence me. Can you now see how a prophet like Isaiah, a man great, a major prophet, had an unclean leaves because the people, those that surround him corrupted him. Check your assembly. Check the people you go out with. Check even your friend. I'm telling you, I was discussing with my brother in Benin. Check your friends. Any wonder, any time you come to you, hey, you know this holy revival moment. They say they are non-denominational. They say they are not. But this Bible study, why are they introducing this? Why are they doing this? Check that person. It, it is that old man that has come. 
in a form of a friend. He is after your soul. Check him. Check him. I was sharing with the brethren. I said, let's assume there is an announcement. Please, we want to build a house for the Lord. Or we want to travel to Abuja. Contribute. Or one need or the other. And actually you struggle and bring up 2,000. And the angel record it in heaven. That is your strength. Hello. That is your widow's mind. The angel record it in heaven. And another person that has not given. And which is not even willing to give. We come and say, you know, this money, money, money matter in Holy Moon is becoming too much. You know, they say they, 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 they we, we, we are Holy Church. We don't emphasize on money. We don't do this. Why are they scoring this? Why are they? Do you know what the devil is aiming out? He wants that your record in heaven to be cancelled. By the time you jump out and say, Hey, for me, I don't no understand what they, you know, the pastor today they talk about money. You have complained. Am I right? You have no more. Am I right? The thing that was recorded for you in heaven is cancelled. That is what that man is looking for. But if you are a wise person, as he is complaining, tell him, brother, if you don't have relax, don't worry. If you don't have, be at peace. I always tell my people, be at peace. If you don't have, relax. God has prepared people for the work. If it is not you, keep your mouth. Let me know. Label and label and give 5,000 for the work. And you come and put complaint in my mouth and the angel remove my blessing. No, God forbid, far be it. Therefore, check your friend. Otherwise, they will corrupt you. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Which number now? We are going to number six. Hallelujah. We said number one, study the word of God. Number two, constant prayer and fasting. Number three, purpose, purpose of heart for righteousness and holiness. Number four, learning under a spiritual mentor. Number five, follow, I mean fellowship among righteous people. Which number are we going to now? Number six, active service for God. Active service for God. Don't always be behind. Don't be left behind. When I'm coming for goals, for activities, for the service of the Lord, create time for it. We have been told yesterday on evangelism. Have time for evangelism. Create time for God's work. Let's see. Let's see Exodus chapter 23. Create time for the work of God. Active service. Never you accept. To be left behind. Whatever you see the brethren doing, contribute your quarter. Come in in your little way, and the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. 23, verse 25. Verse 25. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take away sickness. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. And ye shall serve the Lord. Do you know that one of the way you will key into God's blessing is when you serve him. He said, and ye shall serve the Lord. Your God. And he shall bless your bread. When you serve him, he will bless your bread. When you serve him, he will do what? Bless your bread. He will bless your bread. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst. Take sickness away from the midst of thee. I was sharing with my brethren. I said, do you know that 
Whenever we say, let's go to Abuja for a program, maybe the transport money is 5,000, 6,000, and you begin to complain. Oh, this Abuja program, every time, go to Abuja, go to Abuja. Oh, they say, come to Bible study. Say, oh, my business. Hey, Pastor, you know, anytime it is 4 o'clock for me to come to Bible study, that is when customers are tripping in. It's the strategies of the devil. As you are putting strategies in place to go to heaven, Satan is also putting his own in place to make sure that you didn't go to heaven. The Lord will help us to go to heaven in Jesus' name. Now, maybe it's at that time that customers will be coming. How some man will, a Muslim man will close his shop and go. But a Christian will say, you know, maybe it's answers to prayers. I'm telling you. And you will gather money, gather money, Gather money. By the time it reaches 200,000, Satan will bring your one sickness that will blow off everything. What have you done? You that didn't have time for God. The Bible says, and ye shall serve the Lord your God. And the Lord your God shall bless your water. Your waters are not blessed. Your bread are not blessed. That's why you are like that. I'm telling you. Maybe up to now you are still struggling to pay tithes. Some people have graduated from paying 10% tithes. Be aware. Though it's not a doctrine. Some people, in fact, that thinking is how much Lord will I bring out. My tithe should be 20% or 30% every month. You're still struggling with 10%. That is why your breaths are not blessed. That is why your waters are not blessed. Don't waste time on the things of this world that will perish one day. You don't have time for Bible study. Don't have time for chapter meeting. Don't have time for, 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 for to even develop yourself. You don't have time for that. That is why you are like that. And the Lord will help us in Jesus name. The Lord will give us grace to have time for God. Study the word. Pray. Have time for the Lord. Come to Bible studies. Worship the Lord. Number seven. Create time for praises and worship. Have time for praises and worship. Create time to worship the Lord. Praises and worship. Have time for yourself. Close, I mean, just shut the doors. Be at home. Sometimes be indoor. Praising and worshiping God. Tell yourself, maybe every day I will take 30 minutes or 20 minutes. Depend your screen, whatever. Depend your program, your activities. But all we are saying is create time for praises and what? Worship. Worship the Lord. The psalmist says in Psalm 66 verse 2, I will praise him, I will worship him. Let's read that person. Psalm 66 verse 2. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Sing for the honor of his name. Make his praise what? Glorious in your mouth. And the Lord will help us in Jesus name. Let's rush to number 8 now. Number 8 is obedience to instruction. Obedience to what? Instruction. Hallelujah. Do you know that the price of obedience is high? You must humble yourself. You must, you must bring down yourself. They say, Pastor is calling you. You should come quick, 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 quick. Pride will not allow you to run. Pride will not allow you to run. You know, I'm a man, I'm a big man. It is because people cannot pay the price of obedience. That is why many prefer to give sacrifice in place of obedience. Obey. Do what? Obey. Obey instruction. Obey instruction. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Be an obedient child of God. Any instruction given to you, observe it. Observe it. Listen to instruction. Don't be too big for yourself or too big for your leader. 
Do you know I am this? I am that? Verse 19. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall what? Ye shall what? Hmm. It is only the obedient one that will eat the fruit of the Lamb. Therefore, join them. Be an obedient child of God. Please, take the instruction given to you from this pulpit. See us! The assignment given to you, don't play over it. Are you there? The assignment given to you from this pulpit. Any assignment the servant of the Lord give you. Do it as if you are in a university and that if you didn't do it, they will, they will, they will sack you. I'm telling you, some of you they didn't, you didn't attach any value to it. That's why you are careless about it. They will give you assignment for a whole year. At the end of the year, I expect that everybody, when they say, if you have observed this assignment, I, I was expecting everybody to stand up. But at any time such announcement is made, you will discover that so many will still be sitting down. You mean you didn't do this assignment? Brethren, some of these assignments that have been given to us, you will be shocked at the gate of heaven to see that the angel will be pointing them out one after the other. Do it, my brother. Tell the person sitting by you, do it. Yes, you have to do it. A sermon was given last December. To hear how many cities? How many cities? It may interest you to know that as I speak, my wife has finished those 120 messages. All of them. I told her, you have finished that this assignment. I add 30 to it. My own is 30, so continue. Praise the name of the Lord. Do it. God will be happy as you are doing it and God is happy. You are also developing yourself. The assignment that leaders should read the four gospel books, Matthew, John, Matthew, my Luke, John and the commentary. By God grace, I've finished them. I've finished my own. I've listened up to 20 something, 27 messages now. You know, we coordinators sometimes we are busy around here and there for crusade, but we are doing our best. Why are you not doing it? I think my wife told me she's in her second book now. Very soon she will finish the book too. Brethren, do it. There is reward in obedience. Let's read the place again. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. It is only those that are obedient that will eat the good of the land. John them. I said John them. So that you will also eat the good of the land. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus name. Now, we are going to number nine. Desire personal experience with Jesus. Go on a personal retreat and say, Oh Lord, who am I? Show me myself. Is there anything I should do that I have not done? Is there anything hidden? Maybe a restitution I've forgotten. Maybe a particular thing, maybe a particular thing I looked down on and said, this is my not thing, but the Lord needed you to confess it. Desire personal encounter with Jesus. Not, not that you must, you must say, Lord Jesus, take me to heaven, take me to heaven. No, I mean, let God review you to Know yourself. Oh Lord, place your mirror before me. I want to see myself. And the Lord will do it for you. I said the Lord will do it for you. Acts of the Apostle chapter 9. Acts of the Apostle chapter 9 verse 4. And he fell to the earth. And had a voice saying unto him. So, so, why persecuted thou me? And he said, who, am I, who are thou Lord? 
And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Whom thou persecutest, it is hard for thee to kick against the priests. Paul had encounter with Jesus. Thank God for this time. If not, he was on his way to his destruction. Until the Lord arrested him. Desire personal encounter with Jesus. Ask the Lord to show you yourself. Let's see Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 6. We were there before. Let's go back to Isaiah. Chapter 6 from verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings, which twain he, I mean with twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly, and one cried unto another, and said, let's take that place together, together, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. <laughs> and the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean leaves, and I dwell in the midst of, of a people of unclean leaves. For my eyes have seen the king, my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this have touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away. And that same touch. Also I heard. The voice of the Lord saying. Whom shall I sing? And who will go for us? Then said I. Here am I. Send me. Isaiah had an encounter with the Lord. Before this time he had been a mag a prophet. Remember, Isaiah is one of the major prophets. Am I right? Before now, he has been prophesying. He had been a man of God. On his way to heaven, according to him. Heaven is sure, according to him. Until he had an encounter with the Lord. He said, on the day that King Uzziah died, the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw the Lord sitting on the throne. The king sitting on the throne. And I heard the seraphim. The way they, the way they are announcing this holiness. Hmm. Hallelujah. Isaiah said when I heard them talking to one another. This one turned to his fellow and said holy. This one turned and said holy. The way I hear them emphasizing on holiness. I know I'm not qualified. I know I am not qualified. Many, many at the gate of heaven will know they are not qualified. But that will not be our portion. Isaiah said, when I had the emphasis of holiness from the mouth of the seraphim, I know my, my bones, in my body became weak. I know that I'm short of it. I know I am not qualified. I know it. I know it. The Lord opened my eyes. And I saw my nakedness. 
I saw my emptiness. I discover I am an unclaimer. But Isaiah did something. He said, when I saw that, I did not wait for God to condemn me or to tell me this and this and this is your problem. I declare myself undone. Do you know that many that call themselves preachers now are undone? Maybe you started that church. Actually, what was in your mind was on offering and tithes. You were just doing, you know, you know, business, you know, church has become a good business now. If you want to make money fast, open one. Maybe that was what was in your mind. You know that you were not really called. You know that so many things in your life are not yet in order. Isaiah declared himself. He said, what is me? I am an undone preacher. Not qualified. That humility in Isaiah, I pray the Lord will give it to us today. I'm telling you, I always get surprised at people that the Lord review you either to yourself or to our leader. And <laughs> it's a mystery. I was telling someone, I said, how can I fell into immorality? And I have been, my mom, anytime I say, I want to go and confess to the international director, your heart will be beaten. How will you start it? How will you start it? And God so loves you and sent his Holy Ghost to come and review to the servant of God and say, this my son has fell. And you are called upon. Do you know that that thing which you don't know how to confess, the Holy Spirit helps you and expose you. You have been exposed 80%. Why can't you just round up the remaining 20% and raise? You have been exposed. Why are you still hiding? You don't know how to do it. You mean God in heaven loves you. Loves you to the point of exposing you 80% and say, my son, I have taken you this far. Just finish the race. And you are still arguing. No, I don't know. I don't do it. I don't do it. Hey, Isaiah, in the days of Isaiah, he said, when he saw himself, he declared himself undone. He said, God, I am, I am nobody. War is me. I am an undone minister. In fact, not yet ready. I am like that coconut. I mean, the, what the cocoa yam. You know that kind of thing? If a woman didn't cook it well, you want to eat it, it will trouble your throat. I am like, I was undone. Not yet ready. I zoomed into ministry on timely. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Humble yourself, man of God. Humble yourself. We are talking of heaven. We are here for heaven. Our pastor used to tell us, we are here for heaven. Have you no heart? You are still retaining, uh, retaining pride. Where will you go to? Confess it. Isaiah came. Isaiah humbled himself and did something so wonderful. He declared himself, why is me? For I am undone. And he began to, he said, Lord, my lips are unclean. Hallelujah. And when he did that, that thing touched the heart of God. Do you know that your humility to confess will touch the heart of God? And the Bible said, the Lord now told one of the seraphim. Now, listen. When Daniel prayed, the Lord said who? In Jahu. In Jahu. But in the case of Isaiah, the Bible recorded that God sent one of the seraphim. Do you know that the seraphim, these are the set, these are the class of angels that walk around, that walk around the, 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 the around the throne. They are assuming, they have special assuming. In fact, the word seraphim means bony one. The angel that carries fire. That is why he even brought a life call. Because of the humility in the life of Isaiah. The Lord didn't sin in Jagebre this time. He told those active ones around the throne. Oh yeah, carry a life call. And Isaiah said, I saw he, he one of the sarsim flew to me with a life call in his hand. 
and lay it on my mouth and said, Behold, your sin are taken away. That is the reward of humility. That is the reward of humility. That is, do you know there is honor to him that humble himself and confess? See how God honored Isaiah. The angel that carries fire is the one that came to him. Brethren, the Lord will do something great in our life today. Yes, the Lord will do it. But are you ready to humble yourself? Are you ready to humble yourself and say, Lord, here am I, check me. God, if in fact, confess, confess even the one that are not necessary. I'm telling you, confess them all and be ready. We are talking of heaven here, my brethren. We are talking of heaven. We want to be there by all costs. We want to be there. We don't want, I tell people, it's better to go too much. Go, go, in fact, go, do you know the secret behind the, the parable of the ten, uh, the, the five and the foolish virgins? The wise one went extra. That's the only difference. All of them were called virgin. All of them carried lantern. All of them had oil in their lamps. Because the Bible said, uh, the, the five ones said, our own has gone out. That means it was on before. All of them went for the wedding. All of them, all of them did all things together. Only one thing. Five went extra. This thing you are arguing. You say, I don't believe. What if at the gate of heaven you discover it is real? What would you do? Let's be on our feet and go to God in prayer. You ask, Lord God, have mercy on me. Give me grace to confess all. Confess. The Holy Spirit have helped you. That thing you don't know how to do, the Lord has helped you to do it well. Ah, you cannot confess. You cannot finish it. You are still proud. You can't say, hey God, I thank you for this privilege. I, the thing I don't know how to do, you have helped me. You have helped me. I will just round up. The, in fact, confess and confess and, and keep confessing. Isaiah accepted his, his, his state, his condition, who he is. He said, I am a man of unclean leaves. Yes, I know I am a prophet, but my mouth is still unclean. My lips is still unclean. I am undone. Why is me? Why is me? Why is me? Oh, and the Lord had mercy on him because of his sincerity, because of the way he humbled himself. The Lord will show you mercy. The Lord will show me mercy. Yes, begin to pray. Say, Oh Lord, show me mercy. This heaven I will go, this little light of mine, I will let it shine, I will not let Satan to blot it off. Yes, this little light of mine, I will let it shine, I will not let Satan to blot it off. This little light you have, keep it burning. Keep it burning. Don't allow Satan to blow it off. Don't allow the devil to blow it off. Keep, 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 keep it on. Keep it on. Keep asking the Lord for mercy. Keep asking the Lord for mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Strategies. Strategies. Strategies for growth. Personal. I mean, strategies for personal spiritual development. Put strategies in place. Set the goal for yourselves. Things you must do to grow. Oh Lord, have mercy on your people. Oh Lord, have mercy on your people. Oh Lord, have mercy on your people. In the name of Jesus. Begin to worship the Lord. Begin to worship the Lord. Begin to honor Him. Begin to appreciate Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask God for grace to pray. Grace to read the Bible. Grace to humble yourself. Grace to, to subject yourself under a mentor. Everybody is your mentor. You will be a confused child. Ask God to help you. Ask God to help you. Ask God to help you. That is why when you receive counsel from here, you will go to the second mentor to receive another counsel. And you will be confused. You will be confused. You will be confused. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. 
in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, indeed we appreciate you. For you have opened our eyes to see some things. I ask that may you give unto your children grace to abide by this. Give unto us grace to read, study your word. Grace to pray. Oh Lord, help us in this end time. That we might be preachers that purchase ourselves and clean up ourselves. And are ready for the work. Release upon us, O oh Lord, anointing for the work. Help all that we will not disgrace you, O oh God. We will not go out there and begin to behave funny. That the people might abuse the name of the Lord. Give us grace to be humble. My Father, give us grace to be humble. Holy Spirit divine, give us grace to be humble. Show us mercy, O oh Lord. For in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. And amen. The Lord bless you. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683 four three two three you can also reach us through our email address holiness revival movement at gmail dot com God bless you for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe. Savior. Jesus, I, I believe. believe.
You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you. I love you. I believe. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You Lord. are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. Oh, oh, oh. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. You can. You die for my sin. You purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. You left your throne above and took. Oh Lord Jesus, you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. Because you are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you. I love you. I believe. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You Lord. are my Lord and Savior.